20 years ago, an old coal field flooded out. Groundwater helped turn it into a lake, and it sat empty until 2016, when someone had an idea. Why not take a whole bunch of solar panels and put them right on top? Welcome to Huainan City, China, home to the largest floating solar farm in the world. Tens of thousands of panels soak up the sunshine 24 hours a day, enough to fill more than 160 American football fields. Eventually, they'll generate enough electricity to power about 15,000 homes for a year. We've invested about $45 million so far, says Yao Shaohua, deputy director of the project. Initially, it is more expensive to build this way, consider the fact that you have to take a boat to do just about anything. But in the end, floating solar panels can run more efficiently because they're cooled by the water underneath. Plus, they're taking up unused space. The government won't allow us to just install panels wherever we want, says Yao. These old coal fields wouldn't be used otherwise, so it makes sense. The farm is about 90% done. The repetitive daily linking of buoyed panels broken only by floating a finished product into the lake. It's all part of a broad strategy by China, the largest greenhouse gas emitter in the world, to move away from the one cheap energy that's powered it for so long, coal. Sure, it was cheap and efficient, but it was also dirty, and that's produced skies like this across the country, choked with a toxic smog. Coal still generates more than half of the country's electric supply. But the government has pledged hundreds of billions of dollars in things like wind and geothermal projects to fight that. In solar projects alone, the plan is for $150 billion to be fully invested by 2020. The omnipresent pollution, though, was on full display during our trip to the floating farm. Air quality levels that day were about 17 times worse than the World Health Organization says they should be. And yet, it made for an interesting dynamic, the toxic reality of China's current environment hanging above what they're trying to do to fix that. Matt Rivers, CNN, Anhui Province, China.